This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. And as always, one of the first stops that Miss USA makes after winning her crown is right here on Sway in the Morning on Shade 4-5. Hey, yeah. And with that said, we have Nia Sanchez joining us, Miss USA, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! What's up, Nia? Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely. You're such a, a gorgeous, well-rounded, beautiful person inside out. Thank you. Thank you. you. Oh, wow. So what does this mean for you, my Miss USA? This is the thing that, you know, all girls dream of, you know. Uh, right, Tracy? You dreamt of this. Yes, well, the crown. I the wanted crown. it. Yeah. I know I didn't bring the crown today, but it's amazing. I'm so glad to be here. I've never been to New York in my entire life. Uh -huh. So my first time to New York as Miss USA. Yeah. And um, I can't wait to compete for Miss Universe. It's coming when, up soon. When is that? That's at the end of the year. We haven't announced the date or location yet, but always at the end of the year. I think you can win. You Thank got you. The, you got that charisma. Yeah. You know Thank what I mean? You, you know, a lot of uh, times when you see um, people do the, the beauty pageants, uh, they kind of sound like uh, they sound robotic. Mm -hmm. you, do, you, do you get that? You see that? I, I see that a lot. And I feel like I've even done that in the past. And I realized that didn't work. I wanted to be like the perfect pageant girl and have yeah. all the right answers. Uh -huh. But you just have to be yourself. And that's when you're most successful. Do, do you? I've seen some of these um, reality TV shows where they throw these little girls in the pageants, and mm -hmm. the moms are like living vicariously through their children, and they're like these crazy moms who force like eight and seven year old yeah. girls to wear all this makeup, and you know it's a lot of pressure on them, man. Because uh, well, do you uh, do you advocate that? Not that specific type of like pageant and mentality. I think pageants can be great for girls at any age, but it just depends on how you go about it. Yeah. When girls are taught at a young age that you're only beautiful if you have so much makeup on and slippers and so your teeth are perfect yeah. and you have a spray tan and if you don't have a spray tan, you don't look good enough. I, I don't like that mentality of mm -hmm. it, but pageants are great for self-confidence and to be able to speak in front of crowds of people. It's just if you go about it the right way. Okay, now you, you seem like you were made for this. Like you don't even wear a lot of makeup. Oh, thank you. Like, did you notice this, Heather? I did like notice. Natural... Now, Sanchez, what was your lineage? My dad is half Mexican, half German. My mom is mixed with a lot of Spanish, German, a little bit of European stuff here and there. Okay, so you didn't always have this easygoing life. I read somewhere that you, did you once live in a shelter? I did. When my parents, they both decided that they wanted to separate. My mom was a stay-at-home mom, so she didn't really have anywhere to go. Uh -huh. And my dad had been the breadwinner. So we moved into a women's shelter so she could build her resume get a job, and then eventually, after the time we spent there, she was able to get an apartment and take care of us on her own. So it was a really great tool for her to be able to be more independent. So did y'all, were y'all ever on welfare? Um, I, they just took us in there, and yeah. so I don't think we had to, as far as I remember, we weren't on welfare. Uh -huh. They took us in, and then immediately after helping her build her resume, she was able to get into the workforce and then have enough to be able to support us. Went from living in a shelter to becoming Miss USA, man. It's only in America. <laughs> only in America. Only in America. Uh, Nia Sanchez is here. Uh, we're going to open up the phone line, so if you have any questions for her, I want to find out what's next for you and then your first time meeting Donald Trump. Uh, give us a call, 888-742-3345. Because Nia Sanchez, Miss USA, gorgeous. Ugh. Sitting right next to me, skin out and everything. Have the beard. Oh, gosh, skin <laughs> out. Hey, are you single? <laughs> no, I have a boyfriend. Uh, what? Blah, blah. what? Okay, this oh, interview yeah. is officially over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. What a lucky man. How long y'all been together? We've been together for over a year. How and is he handling your your new found celebrity? He is so he's so proud. If you saw him like on his Instagram, like half the pictures of me, I'm so proud of you. Proud boyfriend. Hashtag proud boyfriend. Yeah. He's amazing. And he's supportive of this year. He knows I have to focus, get ready for Miss Universe. So he's a good one. He's Listen, a keeper. I'm going to just keep it 100. <laughs> There isn't a man in this room that wouldn't be proud to say. <laughs> well, I'm going to be careful how I say yeah, this. Okay. Okay. Right? <laughs> because I'm going I'm to be respectful. Go Thank slow. you. That I'm, I'm my lover mm -hmm. is Miss USA. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's like prime beef. <laughs> Nia, don't he, he met me before all of that, so but, yeah, yeah. But, he's a but, keeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but still. His situation upgraded. Yeah, when he's hanging out at the bar <laughs> and they're bragging about who they're doing, and then it comes <laughs> to him, and he's saying, I'm sleeping with Miss USA. Yeah, that's hot. Well, see, he's pretty respectful, so I don't know if he would be saying that at oh, the bar. Oh, okay, yeah, right. <laughs> sure, Nia, he doesn't brag about it. All right, uh, Nia Sanchez is with us. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, though. It's a beautiful thing. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It okay. Is. All right. Lo- so love is a beautiful thing. Love is a beautiful thing. I like that. You you're well <laughs> on your way. This USA <laughs> is here. Meeting Donald Trump. What was that like? It was good. He's he's really nice, and I, I only met him for a few minutes, but he it was pretty much for a photo op. Mm-hmm. I think we get to like have lunch with Donald Trump, Paula Shugart, who's in charge of our organization as well. So I'll get to know him more. Ask him business questions. Yes. Because you you're not going to be Miss USA longer than a year. Exactly. What you want to do, I know you're going to go for Miss Universe, but that'll last a year too. Mm-hmm. Ask him business questions. There we go. Pick his brain. Yep. All right. All right. Celebrity Wire, Tracy G, what do you have? Yeah. So Kim Kardashian, we know she's like the leader of all celebutants. Mm-hmm. And I think her golden quality, we all can agree, is her ass. Yeah. If she had a flat one, I don't know if she would be as ubiquitous as she is right now. And there's rumors going around that in her mansion as being created, she's going to have a booty room. A booty room? What does that mean? It's going to have all these like different exercises, machines, um, a derriere, facial thing, everything that's going to be dedicated to keeping her ass lifted and tight. When I when I when I heard booty, I just like imagined a wall with a lot of fake butts on it that you could just choose from. Just like you know, if you want to decide what type of sneakers you want to wear that day, you could just attach a butt. You could attach, your ass. attach a booty. Um, do you worry about that sort of thing? What your buttocks look like? Do, 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 you know? Yeah, I feel like all, all girls do, especially recently. I feel like the butt is in. Mm-hmm. Everybody's trying to have a butt. Everybody goes to the gym, ask the trainer, "How do I get a booty?" So yeah. yeah. That's what you guys ask the trainers? That's what women have been asking the trainers lately, believe it or not. How do I get a booty? So when you walk across the stage and you know the world is looking at you and you got maybe a bikini on because uh, the swimsuit's on uh, and the pageants, are you concerned that when you turn around, the world is checking out your buttocks? I feel like they're checking out all of you. That's part of the bikini competition, but yeah. you just want to make sure you're in shape. So when that I'm, included. That yeah. included. When I know that women are looking at my butt when I'm walking away, <laughs> it kind of tenses up. You know what I mean? Oh Unnaturally. Ew. Does the same thing happen? Yeah, you pancake a lot, Sway. It wow. Flat. Wow. When you walk off, you so flat. You yeah, look be- at Sway's booty. Because I be thinking people looking at my butt. <laughs> and as it gets tense. That doesn't happen for you, Miss no, USA. No. That your butt doesn't get tense. Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> wow. In other news, <laughs> so R. Kelly just received a wild surprise from one of his children that came out as a transgender recently, um, born Jaya Kelly. The 14-year-old now ident- identifies himself as Jay. And he recently said around the age six or eight, I felt like there was something wrong, like I was trapped, but I didn't know what transgender was until I grew older. And he wants to go and get the full operation to be, you know, completely male. And he told his mother, who's in full support, but he had not told his father, R. Kelly. He's expecting him to hear about it in the news, like, as my words are reaching right, his ears. Like right now. Yeah, and he's fine with that. Oh, that's interesting. You, you, what was the hardest thing you ever had to tell your father? I, I he, he's very strict, so I really don't go tell, into any details. Just <laughs> you don't tell him anything. <laughs> tell him where I'm going. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to Hong Kong. Yeah. If you need anything, let me know. Because yeah. the, more, the more you give him, the more he's going to ask, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Mia Sanchez. <laughs> All right. Uh, listen, thank you very much, Tracy G. Of course. For that celebrity wire. You can reach Tracy G on um, Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, at It's Tracy G. Okay, we have one more task for you, Nia Sanchez, Miss yes. USA. I need you to stick your hand in our mystery sack. Oh. Okay, Nia, you're going to pick three questions. Pick them one at oh a time. Gosh. This is like pageant all over yeah, again. Yeah, we're giving you the pageant. <laughs> um, hood pageant, though. Do you right pageant? right now? Pageant. Read them out loud and answer loud. them honestly. When was the last time you had a physical fight? Um, Probably about a couple months ago, but <laughs> what? But I do Taekwondo, so. Uh, oh, okay. All right. That's good. That's good. I haven't that's like gotten a black, black black eye from like the okay. street, but okay. you know. Okay. 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 Question good. number two. She does Taekwondo. <laughs> Boards don't hit back. Have you ever gone commando? Oh, yeah. Pageant world. You have to. Do you? You're not wearing, you, you don't want anybody to see underwear lines in your dress when you're on stage. Oh, I'm about to start watching that again. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, last one, Nia. Dig deep. All the girls go commando. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> Have you ever had to curse someone out? I don't really swear, but like I think sixth grade was the last time I start. Like I oh, thought I was good. cool, so I'm like, oh, I'm cool. I can use foul language. Uh-huh. And then after that, that was that was the end of that. That was so. sixth grade. Sixth grade, I w- I thought I was like tough, and then. Seventh grade came around. I was like, okay, that was fun. Uh, um, <laughs> without saying a word, because uh, you don't you don't swear anymore. What what did the word start with that you used? I'm all, probably I probably used all of them. MF. Some of those. B. S. B. Yeah. Everything. Everything. You know. Okay, I like you. So that I'm one not, that one time in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna ask you to say those words because I like you. Uh, uh, Nia Sanchez, thank you for coming by. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. For me. Next time, bring that crown.
Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.